Welcome to the AMC Stock Story Podcast. I'm your host, Russell Corey, and this is not financial advice, and I am not a financial advisor. This is solely for entertainment purposes as I talk about my experiences of investing in AMC stock and becoming an AMC ape. Episode 107, AMC Moas and the Loch Ness Monster. So this is an episode that some apes may not like. And just as in some cults and some religions, you're not supposed to ask questions, you're not supposed to have doubts. That's, that's a sign of not having faith. That's a no-no. But on this podcast, we're allowed to ask questions. We're allowed to have doubts. We're allowed to talk about our feelings openly. I know I do most of the talking, but that's my perspective on this podcast. So, AMC Moas and the Loch Ness Monster, what does that mean? Can I ask you a question? Is the Loch Ness Monster real? Well, that's that's actually a yes and no question. Most likely the answer is no. There There is no Loch Ness Monster. It does not exist. Who knows if it ever did. But right now, I don't think there is a creature swimming in the Loch Ness um, that's like a dinosaur or something that we would know was the Loch Ness Monster. I don't think that creature exists. Yet, there are books. You go to a bookstore, there's dozens of books on the Loch Ness Monster. Everybody knows about the Loch Ness Monster. And if you went to Loch Ness, you, I'm sure there's a pretty healthy tourist trade. There's hotels, there's tours, there's stuffed animals. You can make a lot of money on the Loch Ness Monster. But it doesn't exist. I don't understand. How can something exist and not exist, right? Well, the truth is we don't know. You can only use your best reasoning and judgment. So I say there probably isn't a real creature, Loch Ness Monster, but there's a real industry behind the Loch Ness Monster. It exists in that sense that you can go there. I'm sure you can stay at a hotel with a Loch Ness Monster theme. You can go on a bus tour, lake tour, take pictures of the Loch Ness Monster. I'm sure there's statues and every kid eventually knows about the Loch Ness Monster, but it's not real. So let me ask you, is the AMC Moas real or not? We don't know. Who can tell? It hasn't happened yet. I mean, it got up to 72. Was that the Moas? That's not a Moas. That's a little bit of a, a push. People say it wasn't a squeeze because people it was more FOMO buying than anything. But it's not the Moas. The Moas is the mother of all short squeezes. And you know, one of the big ones that I know is the, the Volkswagen squeeze. That was about $1,000 a share. That was a pretty good squeeze. So the Moas to me is like $1,000 or more, right? Is it real? Will it really happen? I believed in it. That's why I got into AMC. And when people would tell me that, you know, oh, it's never going to go to $100,000, I'd say, you don't know that. Look, I know it seems crazy. I know it seems unrealistic. But you can't say definitively it's not going to be 100000 because this is an automatic process. Once they get margin called, a computer takes over, and a computer is going to buy those shares. And if everyone's holding on to them, it could go to $100,000. Okay, that was me back in June, July of 2021. Well, this is me in January 2023. And I haven't seen the MOAS since I've been investing in AMC. And who knows if we ever will. I hope it's there. I, I end each podcast saying maybe that will bring, now that'll be the, you know, that'll bring on the MOAS and maybe that'll be the next episode of the AMC stock story. But, you know... <laughs> You have to be realistic. It hasn't happened. They haven't been margin called, and they managed to get this stock down to a few bucks. And nobody's done anything about it. So it's either legit that they've gotten oh, that this has happened, or it's criminal. But no one's going to prosecute them. No one's going to do anything about it. Either way, it's the same same outcome for us. So it's it, when I see people talk about the reverse split. Or they see people say, I'm in it for the MOAS. I'm in it for this. I'm in it for the MOAS. It'll hurt the MOAS. There is a part of me, and I know this is what people aren't going to like, 
that says, what Moas? What Moas are you talking about? And can you guarantee said Moas by a certain date? Will you buy all my shares from me for $1,000? Then you can talk about the Moas as if it's some sort of guarantee. Now, if you're not going to buy my shares for $1,000 on said date, please don't tell me that the MOAS is confirmed or the MOAS is real or it's going to happen. Maybe the thought process behind it is real. And in a perfect world where there were rules and regulations that were followed by everyone, and the 1% included, the hedge funds included, the rich and elite included, not just on the little guy. Yeah, we've got rules and regulations, but the, it seems like the upper people don't. They might make an example out of Martha Stewart or that full house lady that sent her kid to college, you know, by pulling strings. They'll make an example of them every once in a while, but for the vast majority of them, no. They get a pass because of their money and their power. So there's rules and regulations for us, but not for them. And that's why maybe the MOAS hasn't happened, because if it did happen, it would hurt them. And they're never going to let it happen. Now, I'm not saying the MOAS isn't going to happen. What I am saying is if you talk about the MOAS happening as if it is a guarantee that it will happen, unless you're personally going to guarantee it's going to happen, you can't say that. You can do all the DD you want, but if we're playing in a corrupt system, it may or may not happen, right? Like the Loch Ness Monster. Is the Loch Ness Monster real? Probably not. But yet there's an industry, there's books, there's movies, there's stuffed animals, there's statues. In that sense, it's real. And the AMC community is real. And selling opportunities for AMC are real. So let's say we have an AMC selling opportunity and it goes to $25. Is that, for all practical purposes, is that the MOAS? Maybe there is a, you know, they're going to be combined and eight people close out their eight position. It gets up to $22. But $22, that's not the MOAS. I'm not selling for $22. But that's the peak it gets. And then it goes back down once it's combined with, with the other AMC. They just short it right back down. Or what if there's a reverse split and it goes up and it doesn't MOAS, but that was your buying opportunity. But because you're holding out for $1,000 to $5,000, $10,000 a share, you don't take advantage of it where other people do, and you get stuck because you believed in the MOAS, right? The mother of all short squeezes. And then when it doesn't happen, you inevitably blame the people that sold. It, I'm not saying, I'm not advocating one or the other. I'm just talking about possibilities here and what could happen and what your response should be when that does happen and your responsibility because it could go the other way you could be like ape at 22 dollars i'm selling everything and then what happens when ape explodes goes to 500 500 or those combined shares there is a moas you sold ape at 22 dollars and then once they're combined in amc if there's you know the reverse split and AMC positions have to be closed out and it explodes again and it goes to a thousand dollars. Well, that's on you. You sold at twenty-two dollars. You know, just as in people say, I say there's no Loch Ness monster. Well, what if some kid goes there and gets the lucky shot, gets the lucky clip on his iPhone of the Loch Ness monster, and he gets two billion views in a, in an hour because of it and becomes world famous for discovering? Well, that's on him, you know. Good for him, bad for me, because I doubted it. But all I'm saying is, you know, is the Loch Ness Monster real? Yes and no. Is the MOAS real? Yes and no. Could it happen? Possibly. Will it happen? No one can say. It's not inevitable. We've been waiting two years. If it's a corrupt system that was n is never going to let it happen, they're just going to pull the ticker. They're going to do whatever they have to do to keep this from happening. Then, you know, what can you do? All I'm saying is be prepared and be responsible for your investment. If you're all in, if you're holding for $1,000 or $0, that's great. That's you. That's your investment. I'm not going to tell you how to handle your investment. 
All I'm going to say is be prepared and think about it. And if you thought about it and you're prepared and you're willing to face the consequences, then great. That's your investment and you do what you do. Over the course of time, as I've been in this play, I thought it would last four days. And it's been, you know, we're on our third year now, 2021, 2022, and now it's 2023. I do not want to be in this spot in 2024. I do not want to be in the spot in 2025. I just don't want to be here. I'm sorry. This is not a religion. This is not a cult for me. This was an unfortunate investment that I got involved in, in a corrupt, corrupt market, and I'm sad that I did. But I'm here, and I'm trapped, and if I wanted to sell at a massive loss right now, I could. Or if I sell it the first, you know, good selling opportunity and I can break even, I will. And then I have to face the consequences of, well, what if, what if AMC does squeeze? I did it with crypto. I got out of crypto because I could not trust crypto anymore. Couldn't trust the market. Couldn't trust that people would have confidence in it to invest. But every day I look, I look at, I look at what I got out of my positions and I see where there are. Right now, it's gone down since I got out. So that's, that's kind of good. But there's... I'm hoping at one point maybe I'll have enough money or I can have the confidence to get back in before I get hurt. And I don't want to be here, you know, three, four, five, ten years from now saying, wow, if I just held on to that crypto position, I'd be a millionaire right now. I hear those stories, you know, when Shiba Inu run, when Doge run, when Bitcoin run. The people say, you know, I had it and I sold it. And if I had held on to it, I'd be a millionaire right now. I've seen those stories. Or... You know, 100000 Same thing with, with, with me and Facebook. If I had bought more and held it for 10 years, I would made could have made hundreds of thousands of dollars, but I didn't. So whether you believe the Loch Ness Monster is real or not, something of the Loch Ness Monster exists. To what extent, I don't know. Can you go there and ride on its back in the water? Probably not. Can you go there and go on a boat tour and get your picture with all things Loch Ness Monster, except for the actual Loch Ness Monster? Yes, you can. Is the AMC MOAS real? I don't know. Maybe it happens. Maybe we do go to $1,000 a share, $5,000 a share, $10,000 a share, $100,000 a share for some people that hold on that long. But maybe the thought of the MOAS is enough to keep people in this play and because people are going to stay in it and things are happening there could be a selling opportunity at $25, $550, $75, $100, $200, $300. It may not be the MOAS but that's going to be it for a while and who knows forever. Who knows? We don't know this. But be prepared no matter what happens Think about this investment. Think about your play. If you're all in on the MOAS, congratulations. I hope it pays off for you. I hope it pays off for me. I, I got in it for the MOAS, trust me. But it's been a hard investment to have. And what will I ultimately what I'll do? I don't know. I won't honestly know when I get there. I'm open, though. I'm just going to be flat out honest with you. I'm open. And I'll see what happens. The one thing I don't want to happen is if there's if AMC has a big run and I stay holding for the MOAS and then it goes crashing back down and I missed another opportunity to get my investment back or make a little bit of money and then have to hold for another two years while potentially maybe something else could happen and another one of those opportunity comes around. You know, I just can't do that. But whatever you want to do with your investment, that's up to you. And maybe the Loch Ness Monster is real. Maybe the MOAS is real. And maybe that will be the next episode of the AMC Stock Story.